Hi guys Mr. Newmobile here. Latest iPhone 12 release date, price, specs and leaks. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description. The iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro promise the most dramatic changes to Apple's flagship phones in years. While the current iPhone 11 line traces its lineage all the way back to 2017, the iPhone 12 will reportedly drop the existing design for an all-new look, as well as add 5G connectivity across the range, Apple's highly anticipated A14 Bionic processor, and, for the Pro set specifically, lighter cameras. The 120Hz displays for the Pro models are in doubt based on leaks. While we won't see the iPhone 12 in September like we typically do with new iPhone releases, rumors and leaks have painted a pretty full picture of what to expect from Apple's upcoming handsets, including their release dates, prices and specs. The iPhone 12 is expected to come in four models. The 5.4-inch iPhone 12, 6.1-inch iPhone 12 Max, 6.1-inch iPhone 12 Pro, along with a possibly slimmer notch. A running order for Apple's September event seems to confirm the appearance of the iPhone 12, Apple Watch 6, AirTags and AirPower. A cheaper iPhone 12 may be coming without 5G, according to a new report, but it may not debut until early 2021. A new iPhone 12 leak for the A14 Bionic chip reveals that it could provide a huge boost in CPU and GPU performance. According to a display analyst, none of the iPhone 12 models will have a 120Hz screen, which could see the phones lose out to the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Although new iPhones typically launch in September, multiple reports have pointed to a delayed release date for the iPhone 12. And Apple confirmed as much in a July 30 earnings call with Wall Street analysts. Chief Financial Officer Luca Mestri noted that last year's iPhone 11 shipped in September, but added this year, the supply of the new product will be a few weeks later than that. That would seemingly point to an October release that's what leaker John Prosser has said. Prosser has also predicted a new iPad at that time. Some rumors have dates, though. One iPhone 12 launch date rumor claims that Apple will debut the new iPhones at a virtual event on September 8. The handsets would go on sale the following month in October. One report based on a note from analyst Ming Kai Kuo says that the iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Max could be released before the iPhone 12 Pro and iPhone 12 Pro Max. The iPhone 12 price seems to be a moving target. The most recent leak. On Twitter says that the 5.4-inch iPhone 12 will start at $699 for 64 GB. The 6.1-inch iPhone 12 Max have a $799 price for the same amount of storage. However, it's possible that the pricing could be cheaper should Apple decide to sell 4G LTE-only versions. The above pricing would be for 5G models of the iPhone 12. In fact, one iPhone 12 price report claims that Apple will release a 4G LTE iPhone 12 in early 2021, according to a research note for Wedbush Securities. Previously, analyst John Prosser said that the 5.4-inch iPhone 12 with two rear cameras will start with one inch screen, would cost $749. Yet another report based on a note from analyst Jeff Poole says that the 5.4-inch iPhone 12 will start at $749. This would be $50 more than the iPhone 11 and, presumably, without a charger or wired headphones in the box. There could be a surprise fifth model of the iPhone 12, according to Wedbush analyst Daniel Ives, which would be even cheaper than the $649 entry-level iPhone 12. However, this more affordable iPhone 12 would miss out on 5G. In fact, one leaker on Twitter, the iPhone 12 Pro, which would have three rear cameras plus a lighter sensor, may start at $999, or $1,049. The iPhone 12 Pro could also feature a 120Hz ProMotion display, but that's not a lot quite yet. Last but not least, the iPhone 12 Pro Max would feature a 6.7-inch display and cost $1,099 or $1,149 to start. iPhone 12 models since a forecast from analyst Ming Kai Kuo last year, we've known that four different iPhone 12 models are on tap for 2020, one at 5.4 inches, two at 6.1 inches, and the largest variant measuring 6.7 inches. All four 2020 iPhones will have 5G, Kuo says. These four phones are also expected to incorporate OLED displays, which would mark a change for Apple. Like the iPhone XR before it, the iPhone 11 features an LCD display instead of an OLED panel. iPhone 12, look for the entry-level iPhone 12 to feature a 5.4-inch OLED panel with rumored resolution of 2340 x 1080. Young expects the display to feature Y-Octa technology, which means that the touch sensor is integrated directly into the display. In terms of other hardware, the iPhone 12 is expected to feature an A14 processor, 4GB of RAM and a choice between 128GB and 256GB of storage. Like the iPhone 11, this model will rely on dual rear cameras, losing the telephoto in the Pro variants. 
The iOS 14 beta has essentially confirmed the 5.4-inch model of the iPhone 12, as the display zoom accessibility feature now supports panels with the iPhone 12's resolution iPhone 12 Max. This 6.1-inch iPhone will feature the same hardware as the standard iPhone 12, A14 processor, 4GB of RAM, 128GB or 256GB of storage and dual rear cameras. The biggest difference will be the screen and battery size, both of which will see increases. The iPhone 12 Max will have a larger flexible 6.1-inch OLED panel with 2532x1170 resolution. 32x1170 resolution iPhone 12 Pro. The 6.1-inch flexible OLED on this model could be the first phone to feature 10-bit color support, according to Young. It will feature a 2532x1170 resolution along with Y-Octa technology. There's a chance this phone's screen could support a 120Hz refresh rate, though rumors have gone back and forth on that front over the last several months. Expect 6GB of RAM in this A14-powered model with storage options ranging from 128GB to 512GB. The Pro series is rumored to feature three rear lenses, highlighted by a 64MP main sensor, plus a lighter time-of-flight sensor that will improve performance of iPhone Arkansas apps. iPhone 12 Pro Max. Expect the same RAM, storage and camera features as the iPhone 12 Pro, only with a bigger 6.7-inch OLED panel. Resolution could be 2778x1824, and a 120Hz refresh rate is a possibility here too. If you're wondering how all four rumored iPhone 12 models com four rumored iPhone 12 models compare, John Prosser shared a graphic on Twitter back in April showing the four models and their key specs. A better look at how the different sizes compare comes in a YouTube video by I relatively high quality iPhone 12 dummy units in three different sizes and compares how they fit in people's hands. So what will the new iPhones look like? All four iPhone 12 models are expected to bring back the flat metal edge design of the iPhone 5, according to Bloomberg. This design change will also bring the iPhone lineup closer to the iPad Pro 2020. The most interesting variant should be the 5.4-inch iPhone 12, which has been leaked via a purchase dummy unit. It's even smaller than the 4.7-inch iPhone 7, despite having a larger display. And it's not significantly larger than the original 4-inch iPhone SE. iPhone SE. Another leak shows the actual display panel for the 5.4-inch iPhone 12, which seems to confirm the new small size for Apple's lineup. If you're confused as to why the rear cameras and notches look unchanged from the iPhone 11 range, the simple reason is that these finer design details often aren't accounted for in dummy units because they're usually not important to the construction of accessories. However, an image by Twitter leaker Camilla shows what could be the final design for the iPhone 12 Pro and iPhone 12 Pro Max. This includes a notch up front and a square camera array that tucks in a smaller lighter sensor than what's found on the iPhone 12 Pro. As it happens, it's been rumored that Apple will downsize the notch by a considerable margin in its upcoming phones, John Prosser leaked schematics indicating as much back in April, saying that the smaller notch is mostly confirmed. However, Prosser didn't offer any indication of how much smaller the new notch will be. Meanwhile, various designers have tried their hand at creating mock-ups of what the next iPhones will look like, based on rumors and leaked CAD drawings. The folks at Concept Creator built a render of the sides and a smaller notch, as well as a SIM tray that has been relocated beneath the volume buttons. iPhone 12 Pro could look like with the flat edges, a smaller notch and a fourth camera, which would presumably be a lighter sensor for more immersive augmented reality applications. That feature was introduced in the iPad Pro that came out in March. Another iPhone 12 Pro Max video brings the ca and it shows Apple's 6.7-inch iPhone 12 Pro Max with flatter sides, a built-in lighter scanner, flatter edges and a smaller notch, all wrapped up in a slightly taller but thinner design than the iPhone 11 Pro Max. iPhone 12 colors we've only heard a handful of rumors on the color front, but it's a safe bet that Apple will likely follow the same pattern of the last couple iPhone launches. That means a greater quantity of colors for the less expensive iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Max, while the iPhone 12 Pro models will adopt darker, more traditional color schemes, such as space gray and silver, with more of a premium-seeming finish to them. At least one rumor says that Apple will spice things up by offering a blue color for the iPhone 12. The blue would replace the midnight green color offered on the iPhone 11 Pro and may be exclusive to the new Pro models. Concepcifone created a video showing off what a navy blue iPhone 12 Pro might look like, and Svetapple has published an even more recent mock-up of the iPhone 12 Pro in this new view. iPhone 12 models will ship with support for 5G networks, but there's some disagreement as to whether all models will support but while leaker John Prosser agrees that all four iPhone 12 models will ship with 5G support, the 5.4-inch iPhone 12 and 6.1-inch iPhone 12 may not employ Wave technology, which offers the fastest download speeds. 
Instead, these more affordable devices would feature only sub 6GHC 5G, which reaches much further than Wave. 5G in this lower band offers longer range, but slower data rates than Wave technology, which can reach up to 2Gbps. The iPhone 12 Pro and iPhone 12 Pro Max will reportedly offer Wave and sub 6GHC 5G, giving shoppers the best of both worlds. Verizon 5G is focusing, at least initially, on Wave, which delivers the fastest speeds, but requires line of sight due to a small seller node for service. Digi Times had backed up the report that only the iPhone 12 Pro models would offer both Wave and sub 6GHC, but a new report from the publication claims that all four iPhone 12 models will feature wide 5G support. That means the iPhone 12 and 12 Max would work on Wave 5G, too. iPhone 12 is a new lighter sensor. Given that the iPhone 11 Pro and iPhone 11 Pro Max featured triple-lens rear cameras for the first time in Apple's hardware, we expect that to continue for the 2020 versions of the Pro iPhones. According to a separate report, the iPhone 12 will feature a new 7-part lens for the main camera, which would be an upgrade from the 6-part lens on the iPhone 11 series. The extra lens should result in better photo quality and reduce distortion. Meanwhile, the iPhone 12 Pro is all but certain to add that aforementioned lighter time of flight sensor. Analyst Ming Kai Kuo expects it to be included on at least two iPhone 12 models, which would almost assuredly be the Pro versions. Subsequent reports on iPhone 12 specs. Please subscribe, like,